Hey, Jacob, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. What, um, when did you get to Tallahassee, and, and what's the trans transition been like for you so far? Sure thing. I got to Tallahassee on Memorial Day. Um, so far, it's been fantastic. Uh, the transition from up north to down south, the heat-wise, not too bad. I'm getting really accustomed to it pretty fast. The workouts have been great. Team building has been great. We've done a lot of events. Um, but overall, the resources here have been fantastic. Everything to get me on the ground running. What was the um, process like for you to decide to, to uh, I guess you finish your degree up there, but go into the portal and, and see what other options were available? And yeah. And Florida State get involved. It's great. So at Harvard, the culture up there, um, you sign up for four years. Uh, a lot of guys take the opportunity to grad transfer after those four years. I think the Ivy League gets a lot of talent um, that goes on to prove themselves in the Ivy League, not well enough to go play in the NFL just yet. They haven't played against the best competition. So then a lot of guys take the grad transfer route. Um, we, I've seen a lot of O-linemen specifically go take the grad, uh, grad transfer route, go play big time, power five, power four football, um, and then you know get some tryouts in the NFL. Um, and then Florida State stood out. My offensive coordinator, Mickey Fine at Harvard, um, he has a connection with Coach Atkins. He coached him uh, when Coach Atkins played in college. And so that connection was built. Um, and you know, they, that got my foot in the door here. I got down on a visit and I loved it. And, you know, I think I, I did pretty well um, on my visit in terms of showing myself and now I'm here. Jacob, I guess, at what point in your career did you start thinking about that kind of transition that you were talking about? Was it, was it a coach that told you something? Was it your performance that made you feel like this would be kind of a, a step that you'd want to try to, you know, I guess, undertake? Sure. I looked, so at Harvard, we had an offensive lineman uh, when I was a sophomore. He was a senior, uh, Spencer Rowland. He went to UNC. He did pretty well. Now he's on the Vikings. Uh, he was a really good role model for me. Um, following in his, his footsteps was, was kind of my path. Now with COVID, everything was a little bit different. He committed to Penn State, then decommitted during the COVID year, and then had a senior year at Harvard. So it was a little different. However, ultimately, I, I decided to follow in his footsteps because he was a great role model, had a similar career. We both played right tackle. I played right tackle at my junior year. He played um, both of his starting years, um, ultimately just following in his, his footsteps. We've got one on Zoom here from Chris Meek. Hey, Jacob, just want to check that you have any interest in continuing this process. You expect to have two years of that, correct? Yeah, so I have two years left of my eligibility, um, thankfully, uh, due to COVID. So I've got plenty of time to figure it out. Yeah, so I have, you know, I'm 22 years old. And I feel fresh. Um, however, you know, I'll have you know, plenty of time to decide, you know, how, however well I do this year um, to figure out what my best decision is, whether that's, you know, if I do really well this year and then move on or if I need to take another year and keep developing. Um, luckily, I've got time on my side. Hey, good morning. Uh, so you said you played right tackle guard, center, tackle, what have you talked with the coaches about where you might start, or is it, or is it cross training type of thing? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, right now, I'm taking a lot of center reps. Um, just being able to snap the ball is kind of the only real live thing I can practice uh, with what we're doing. Um, but ultimately, interior is going to be where I'm going to compete. Um, tackle was what I played for two years. I played a little guard during spring ball um, at my time at Harvard, but in, you know, in one game my sophomore year. But ultimately, interior is what I'm going to be competing for. You're a high school guy. What sports did you play in high school? How did you wind up going to Harvard? And talk a little bit about that. And then I'd also like to ask you about your experience at Harvard from an academic standpoint and a, a personal development standpoint. Sure thing. Uh, in high school, I went to Staples High School in Westport, Connecticut. It was a fantastic experience as a public school. Um, they just recently won a state championship. I'm really proud of them. Ultimately, you know, coming from a public high school in Connecticut, there wasn't a plethora of opportunities. Harvard was the best one, in my opinion. Um, I had a couple offers, coaching changes. BC was one of them. They had a coaching change right after I got offered. Harvard had, at the time, I think six active NFL alignment bouncing around, whatever the deal was. That stood out to me. Um, coach Kennedy at Harvard, the O-line coach, he had been there. I think he had just gotten there. He was my coach for all four years at Harvard.
fantastic guy. He really helped me become the man I am today, um, aside from football as well. My time at Harvard, academically, I was a double major. I got a double major in uh, economics and psychology. Harvard is a very uh, renowned institution. Uh, it was a great experience. I learned a lot about what it's like to be a man and overall, just aside from the academics, of course, just being around that team, a bunch of great guys. They do a fantastic job in recruiting a character. Um, so that was really uh, invaluable to me. Were you familiar at all with Dylan Gibbons? And did you did they talk to you about his story? He came from Notre Dame and came here and got his M MBA. And um, I didn't know if that was any part of the process. And then also, just if you could just talk about connecting to these players who, you know, come from a different part of most of them come from a different part of the country. What that process has been like? Sure. We briefly talked about Dylan Gibbons, um, but really for me, the most the what who I compare myself most to would be uh, Dimitri Emmanuel Meech because he came from an FCS program in May as well. So that's who I was kind of referencing myself towards. And he also competed and won an interior spot in such a short amount of time. Um, and what was the second part of your question? Just, uh, to players right. From yeah, I think it's been great. I think the guys are awesome. Uh, we had at Harvard a couple of guys from Florida. I love those guys. Um, that's just the majority of the team I'm on now. Uh, but at Harvard, we had, I think, 34 different state guys came from 34 different states, something like that. So here it's been, you know, no different. It's a football team. Everyone wants to win games. It's, it's, it's pretty easy to make friends. What was it for you about Florida State that made you want to come here? And then I guess what has been the best part about being here so far? Right. Florida State stood out um, in my recruiting process. I loved every single school that gave me an offer. I, you know, it was a really tough decision. Ultimately, what it came down to was the fact that Coach Atkins and Coach Norvell have been here for five years now. You don't find that in college football very often. Uh, not only that, uh, they win a lot of games, and I really like winning games. Um, my favorite part about here, I've loved every aspect. Uh, athletically, I think the weight, the weight training staff has been phenomenal. Um, everything we've done, lifting, running, everything like that, I feel like a Brand new man every morning. I feel fantastic. I, I really love that. The team camaraderie is great as well. Uh, all the team building stuff. We went paintballing yesterday. That is something I'm very new to, and I, I love it. I think it's I think it's great. You know, the coaching staff added two other transfers that play the interior of the line with Richie um, as well as uh, TJ. For you having two years left, if you only had one year left, would that change the calculus you use in your head to figure out where you wanted to play college football? And I guess, I know you want to compete and you're not going to compete to, to back up, but I mean, how much of, of a starting job is, is in the front of your mind this season? Yeah, that's a great question. If I had one year, wouldn't it change anything? Um, you know, hopefully I, I only, you know, I have a bang up job this year and, and get to go to the NFL and only use one year. Um, if I have to use two, so be it. This is a great place to be for two years. Um, I'm a, I like to compete. I want to win jobs. It doesn't really matter who's in front of me or who's whatever the deal is. If guy got, guys got here earlier. Um, but the, the, the great part about Florida State's O-line room is it's very competitive, but it's a, it's a group of brothers. Everyone is, is like-minded in terms of wanting to win football games, and that's, what, that's the best part about football. So that's you know, another reason as to why I came here. Uh, so ultimately, I'm going to compete my tail off, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, the calls haven't been too crazy. It's just changing the lingo in my head. Uh, that's, you know, going from one playbook to another, that's definitely the most difficult part. But football, I mean, you see it all the time. You have guys in the NFL bounce around teams in, you know, three times a year sometimes. Like, and they have to learn those playbooks. You know, they have to know it as fast as they possibly can. So that's one thing that I've definitely cherished, that learning opportunity, to be able to come here and try to learn something as fast as I can because i got to know it in two weeks like the back of my hand. It hasn't been too bad. I mean, the only difficult part is changing words in my head. Um, every play is the same no matter where you run it. So if you know every play that you can run in football and just changing the lingo of how it's called, um, it, it's pretty not, – it's not too difficult. You know, obviously you've been busy on Saturdays, so I don't know how much Florida State you had watched before this process, but did you go back and watch any Florida State games and what stood out about the offense or the offensive line when you, when you did that? Yeah, I've watched almost every game now. I've gone through every game on film. I watched – last year's ACC championship game versus Louisville and then the, the Georgia bowl game. 
I think the offensive line is great. I think it was great. That was one of the reasons when I was getting recruited and I was watching the ACC championship game, watching what we did, you know, with, you know, the quarterback situation, having a young guy in, um, but just watching how the O-line really took took charge and won this ACC championship. Obviously, there's a whole team of guys who did that, but I think the O-line played a pretty big part. Um, that was really impressive, and it was awesome to see that that culture is also down here, whereas at Harvard, that, that was kind of the idea is that the O-line needs to be dominant and control the, the, the – everything starts up front, pretty much. This coaching staff's like really meticulous. They're they're very thorough when it comes to planning. Did, did they kind of give you the same blueprint they gave the guys that, that came here in the spring? And they're like, all right, just go through this as fast as you can. Or did they give you kind of a an outlook of what they'd want from you, considering that you're coming here in the middle of the summer to compete? Right. I think the expectation is that I come in here like I'm a vet, to try to be able to you know not only know everything that I need to know to be able to go play, but to be able to compete at the highest level um, to go win a job. That's the expectation is just to be my best. Uh, that's the expectation here at Florida State, and that's the expectation they had for me in the O line room. Just be able to go in there. If I want to win a job, I need to be on top of my game. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. Have a good one, everyone.